I read about these four crucial C's, which is courage, capable, connect, and count. And I was like, these literally are like the four lessons that these students need before I can teach anything physical because they need this mental part to feel good about who they are, where they are in society, what place that they have in this world. They need to have courage to try things that they've never tried before. And once they build these crucial C's up and start feeling good about who they are, then I noticed how much more they were participating in physical activity, how much more they were learning. And then the physical part would just follow suit. 20 years ago, you probably would have just been, the focus would have been being physically active. And now the shift has definitely shifted towards um, implementing those standards and ensuring that students are aware of what they're learning intentions and goals are for the day and then they can be very specific about what they're achieving and trying to attain within each class. When we all come to PE we learn about new things and we learn about our health and stuff and what our body needs that's why the purpose of coming to PE because we were in class we just learn about math and stuff but when we come to PE we're learning about like our body and how our body works. I think the standards help them learn about themselves is why I think they're enjoying PE. They like to know what is going on and where we are going from today to the end of the semester. They enjoy coming, they know it's expected, there's no surprises, and they just enjoy class that way. Sat cross-legged on the floor with a student and I said, hey, what are you learning about? They were able to share with me and that student even said, you know, Mrs. Whittle, this is the first time I've really known how I'm going to been, be assessed in PE and it's kind of exciting to know like why I'm here, um, what it's going to look like. It's not just me showing up and doing an activity anymore. I, mean, I never thought that, that uh, physical things could really be enjoy, uh, I could really enjoy them. I didn't know that my water intake was really holding me back and that uh, my sleep was really holding me back. We really learn how to incorporate these things into our lives. So when we're teaching the skills, whether they're locomotor skills, basketball skills, whatever they are, it is so very important that you know that we're teaching these skills and they're developing them and they're getting better at them. And I push so much like, while you're moving, you are still learning. Like we don't stop learning when we move. Like, oh, we're playing a game, now it turned into a game. It's not a game, it's a learning lesson that's just happened to be fun learning. As the students have buy-in and the teachers have buy-in and the admin have buy-in, once you utilize standard reference grading or standards based grading, you don't unsee it. You have to separate behavior and academics. You have to be able to see that in front of you. And once you see it, you, you can't leave it.